but defense is their concern. We're underway at SeatGeek Stadium, Chicago, Red Stars all in black, and Gotham FC, the visitors, in the white. With some support, perhaps, does she? Decent ball into the near post, and surely, surely it's there. And it is, and Gotham have taken the lead. And it's Jenna Nyswanger, an awful moment in the Chicago defence, but what a moment for the rookie. Absolutely brilliant. This is talking about being in the right place at the right time. We spoke about Nyswanger nice before the game, being able to adapt. You see Taylor Smith here picking up the ball here. I think I spoke about the Chicago Red Stars before the game. This is too easy. Taylor Smith gets the ball here. Someone has to press in. They have to press. They have to delay this ball. But even there, that has to be cleared by Tiana Davidson. That has to be cleared. All of them need to come together. There's enough players there from the Chicago Red Stars to clear that ball. And it just... And the 100th goal of the 2023 regular season. Now, what about at the other end? What about the equaliser? And it's there! If the offside flag stays down well. It was offside in the initial play. You could see when the ball was played through the initial play. I don't think it was St. George. Here's Ryan. Nice turn from her. It's all too easy. Yasmin Ryan! Well played, fantastic play from Ryan there down the right-hand side. But again, I don't want to be too critical of the Chicago Red Stars back line. Towards Taylor Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. O'Hara tries one from distance. It's always going to be a comfortable save for a listener. Here they come again, the visitors enjoying themselves. Yeah. Oh, he's given away that time. O'Hara. Now, can they try and... Make the difference, and it's Hocking! Yeah. Really good save by Hort, who is equal to it. Really bad turnover from Kelly O'Hara. I've been very complimentary of her today. I think she's been brilliant defending, but you can see it barely be Hocking. I think she did everything right. Oh, it's given away really, really badly. Uh, here's Lynn Williams. Williams with a strike, and it's another dreadful error from Chicago on the stroke of half time. You cannot give Lynn Williams the ball in that position and not expect to be punished. Really, really poor giveaway. Really poor giveaway. As I mentioned it a few minutes before, you cannot give away the ball in that situation. And then once the ball gets given away, Tiana Davidson has to get closer. The defenders have to get higher. You cannot allow a player, any player in this league, to get a free shot off, let alone Lynn Williams, one of the best finishers. Bianchi again with the delivery. Again takes out the keeper, and that time it's there! And Chicago are back in the game. That is a fantastic ball, but it's a fantastic ball into the box. What a brilliant header that is. Ella Stevens with a goal. That is exactly what Chicago needed, giving the home fans something to cheer about. Okay. Stevens, the goal scorer, did the initiative and the early strike. Oh, and off the outside of the post. Oh, what a glorious opportunity that was. Throughout the first, and they thought, no, hang on a minute, we're the home side, and now another opportunity. And Hocking once again, or this time she just swipes at it. Trying to commit bodies forwards now, his bike. And Kruger up there from the back. Kruger with the ball in, oh, and it's only just over the bar. It's on to the end of it. Here is the urgency now. From Hocking, she was in such a hurry, she dropped the ball. And there it is, time has run out for Chicago Red Stars. 2-1 defeat for Chris Petroselli's side. It's just one win in their first six games. Four defeats now for them. But in contrast for Gotham, that's their fourth win in six regular seasons.